Portimao paddock is packed with over 500 riders from 26 different nations set to contest the 94th edition of the FIM International Six Days of Enduro. Among them, 17 national teams lining up for the World Trophy, the oldest of three titles up for grabs in the Algarve. With three different champions in the last three seasons, once again the destination of the crown is up in the air in 2019. Australia stormed to a massive seven-minute winning margin in Chile a year ago, but of their 2018 title-winning quartet, only Daniel Sanders returns. Plenty of familiar faces for the men from Down Under nonetheless, the 2015 gold medalist Josh Green returning and Matthew Phillips making a surprise international comeback. Last year we, we had Josh Strang and Daniel Milner who are both missing this year. I got the call up two weeks prior to the event. Um, I've been off the bike nearly 18 months, so for sure I'm not in any condition to be to, to be talking about any potential wins or anything. You know, I'm realistic. Um, but what what I have to offer the team is, uh, you know, is a fresh mind, and um, yeah, there, there is a motivation there and a bit of a burn inside to to come back. A much changed team for France, who were the victorious hosts in Brive 2017 to secure a seventh title in 10 years. Targets for the new generation are more modest than for their illustrious predecessors. For a while, France had plenty of world champions in enduro, but that is changing now with a new wave of British riders coming through. So this season isn't necessarily about winning for us. It would be arrogant to expect that. We know our level. But the aim is to do as well as possible and grow our young riders towards victory in the years to come. The USA's golden generation produces another power-packed team with two of 2016's winners eager to get back on top. It's um, you know, been a long, a long time since it feels like since we won it, and uh, we we just keep having that little bit of bad luck. And I wasn't on the team last year to race in Chile, but Taylor and Ryan have both won the individual overall here, and you know I was uh, been battling up there for that top spot as well, and uh, should be the you know favorites to hopefully go on to win the event. The loss of Steve Holcomb comes as a blow to Great Britain as they chase a first title since 1954. But a clean sweep for their individual stars on the 2019 Enduro GP podium ensures they remain among the favourites despite a lack of recent experience in this international competition. I, I think it's only you know made it more exciting, you know, because we haven't really been there the last few years, you know. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, we're coming back this year with a bang. Um, you know, I'm taking it all in. It's a it's a massive experience, you know, for me uh, being my first time. You know, I've won the the Enduro GP, but this is my first time racing six days, you know, it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I think, uh, no, I'm really excited about um, about being with the team and uh, yeah, I can, I can tell you now that we'll be pushing 100% for the win. Finland also returned to the fray. Captain Eero Remes joined by a young, new side, aiming to put their country back on the Enduro map in the seasons to come. Joo, eli tänä vuonna on tota... I'm a veteran, but the others are young, so it's a good balance. We have experience and youth that I can help to do things right. It's an important race. Last time I was here, we had some good results, finishing third, so we're trying to repeat that. It's nice to be back with Team Finland. France and Italy have been the teams to beat in the Junior World Trophy over the last two years. And despite inevitable sweeping changes to both national lineups, that rivalry is expected to be renewed in the Algarve. The team has changed quite a lot since last year because Cavallo and Sareca have moved up to the World Trophy and I'm the only 2018 winner left. Spano and Pavoni are the two young riders who have both competed in the World Championship this season. And I'm convinced that we can manage a good result here this week. Italy certainly have a strong team, but so do we. We've all ridden the full Grand Prix season, which has been cool. We work really well together during training. We have a real team bond. Beyond that, well, it's the six days and it's long. Anything can happen, but we'll try to ride smart and chase the podium. In the women's trophy, meanwhile, surely only a miracle can stop Australia from racking up another record-breaking title. Anything can happen. 
We've got six days of racing, so we just want to have a strong week ourselves, but we have a strong team. It's the same as last year, so um, I know we're hoping for a good year. We're feeling great and we're planning on making it seven.